Yeah, welcome to DotStorm report. Today I want to talk about Internet of Things and Industry 4.0. Internet of Things means that I'm able to connect physical objects with Internet. I can put a sensor in an object, I can take the data, I can put it in a database in Internet and I can use this data to improve, for example, a process in an industrial plant or installation because I can interconnect a lot of machines together via Internet and I have the option to improve the process because then I can give a command to each individual machine. I can copy intelligent processes and in order to study this issue, today I have invited Mr. Jaume Amoros from the company Atisol Barcelona. Jaume Amoros is an expert. He worked 20 years in this issue and he will explain possible strategies and options to work with this new technology in the industry. Before talking with Mr. Amoros, I want to show you a little video of a process, a two minute video. Uh, because this is a process that I would like to discuss later on with Mr. Amoros. So let's go first to the video. Yeah, we can see here the aluminium extrusion plant. Yeah, you see the aluminium billet which is uh, pushed uh, to the area of the furnace. First there's a cleaning of the surface and then uh, the billet is heated up to nearly 600 degrees. It will be cut with um, a shear, with a hot shear, uh, to a piece of uh, one meter length ap approximately. And then this is forwarded to the press. First of all, you, you apply a boron nitride powder to, to protect uh, against sticking against the press tools. Then the billet goes inside the press and with a hydraulic force, you, you make the profile. You have a, a extrusion die that defines the shape of the profile, you have a cooling at the exit of the press, you have a double puller system in a double puller one with saw, so the extrusion press never has to wait the extraction system to do the extraction process. The extrusion press can work all the time without interruptions. You see the cooling tables and the next uh, step is then a stretching. Uh, to, to straighten the profiles. After stretching, you, you create a layer which goes to the profile saw. And this uh, profile saw you cut to commercial lengths of approximately six and a half meters. This commercial length then uh, has first uh, to be uh, aged in the aging oven. So you have to put the profiles, you have to stack the profiles into a basket and then you put three baskets one over the other to go inside the aging oven. What you see here is a fully automatic plant. Everything is uh, moved by its own. The operators only interfere very little. Uh, here you see how it goes inside the aging oven. It's closed and then during several hours you do the aging process. After aging the profiles are is already commercial material which could be sold directly as it is or maybe the customer prefers to have anodizing or maybe the customer wants um, a painting of the profiles or can do mechanical operations or you can do a banding you can do whatever you want it depends on the profile plant uh, if they uh, prefer to do additional processes to get it more and more complex more and more integrated for the customer in this case, now I would like to invite Mr. Jaume Amoros to talk about this process and to study how we can apply Industry 4.0 in this case. Yes, uh, Jaume, hello. Thank you very much that you, that you assist our video channel. If we saw the video of, of the production plant, maybe now you could just explain us uh, what means 4.0 for, for you personally and, and what is the project you are working on really in the industry? Uh, the idea important and with the video you have seen is that um, we need to take more information about our production plant. Okay. We need to connect this production plant to internet to give services eh, and improve all the business. No, this is the idea. Then uh, that is important is that this connection with uh, internet be safety in safety eh, to avoid uh, 
hackers and these things. We will talk about this later. But that is important is that we need to start to take information for all the sensors, for all the parts of the machine to predict and give um, more uh, efficiency to the, to the process. No? For example, the first step is connect the machine to internet to give services. For example, if the machine has been stopped, contact with your uh, your supplier to 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 check what happened and, and, and solve as soon as possible the problem. Other step is very important is to have the information in, in your your mobile, your 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 laptop or, or your tablet. Yeah, so all the information is always visible on, on the device that you prefer, but on the mobile phone of the maintenance person, for example, or the production manager. No? Exactly, exactly. The target is uh, have the information where you go. Have information usually about uh, your, your family or a lot of things. Then also we need to have information about the our process uh, production process alarms no it's some to be ready when the shift will start have all all all, all the machine ready no then the, the mobile give you information about uh, the process if it's correct it's not correct uh, before the shift starts for example we have we install cameras looking the machines mm, uh, recording okay and that help you to problems that ha happen, for example, during the night shift, nobody knows what happened. You, you, you can see the recording and, and look what exactly happened and, and solve this problem for uh, future action. No? So you have a total visibility of the process all the time and even physically you see the machines, how they are working or how they were working some hours ago. Like. Exactly. And the, the, the most important, the major important parameters of the machine, no? you can see um, uh, in real time. No? Also in this uh, stage, uh, in this step, we start the prediction. Prediction uh needs to take information of all sensors and store this information eh? and then analyze take the the tendency yeah. what i see here is for example from from the press the main part which is a stem that works a lot with a lot of high pressure and you put a lot of sensors mm -hmm. to see the alignment is perfect and how the alignment is moving over the time no Yes, this is very important because this is the, 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 the heart of the of the press, no? And it's the main important machine. And then we uh, constantly we are analyzing the alignment of the machine and we are giving inf uh, information to and the tendency. And then if the there is if it's necessary to do some action, we can prepare and put on the shadow and react. Correct. Yeah, no? yeah. Also, we take energy consumptions uh, of the machine, vibrations, also to predict all the situations. Yeah, because at the end of the day, every machine, you take the sensors, you take all the sensor data. Uh, the design of the sensors, you need a lot of uh, communication with the customer. So it's, it's very complex projects, really, because it goes over a lot of months. You have to evaluate the data of the customer the process to make a recommendation for the right sensors you have then to install the equipment and so on no? so you work a lot of months no to to get a project started with a customer no? yes uh, we uh, use the existing sensors and also there is new ones also we we propose to to be installed this is the idea also here we can see how we take the information and we cross with um, all the production data to know more things that until now for example to know exactly which is the energy cost of a production because we are taking information about the gas consumption electricity consumption and then we cross to the production and then we can say this product have this cost of energy. Yeah, because then for today, or, for the ISO uh, 14,000, for example, they requires a constant improvement process. And then, for example, you can study specific productions and, and propose uh, new targets to have a lower energy consumption for some type of production piece. No? 
exactly it's 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 like this no and also we can well, we for example not only know the cost of the energy for this product also we can we can know if there is a malfunction in some machine because if we see that the same production from done last week and uh, compare with the that we have today uh, we if we see a big difference of consumption we can see there that the machine is not working uh, well and it's necessary to do some uh, action yeah. plan no maintenance yeah, you plan. can do as well historic you use historical data for the control of of the today's production let yeah about uh, new in general everybody is very concerned about uh, internet safety what is uh, what what is your concept just to avoid that uh, that all the all the concept is safe and nobody that uh, can intrude your system and can cause a damage or steal data or modify a process yes we talk about uh, this before we use industrial router with all the safety these all the rules that we can see here on this list is the safety that uh, are a play, we are playing uh, international safety uh, rules and and this is very important that uh, to avoid that hackers go inside to, to your system because we will have the machine all the time connected to internet to take all the information and it's very important that we say then we uh, design all our products uh, with partners with a very long experience large experience on on on, on safety so. okay in internet yeah. how about uh, the what you mentioned before the machine uh, optimization the self-learning of the machine mm, i i want just to come back to the to the process that we mentioned before you no know, where we saw the extrusion the aluminium profile production plant the aluminium extrusion plant maybe you just cut uh, you talked about uh, the extrusion press before we have the feeding and so on you have the extrusion die uh, could you just explain a little bit what would be a self-learning for this uh, core process of extrusion of the machine? How, how to, could you apply some self-learning techniques in this area? We talk about that we take data constantly of the sensor of the machine and we cross with production. Okay, And then in this uh, central part of uh, press, extrusion, feeding, uh, lock, 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 lock furnace that is uh, hitting the, 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 the aluminium. Uh, all this part, uh, there is a lot of parameters, uh, temperatures, pressures, uh, speeds. And we are, we are taking information about all these values and we cross with the production. And then the machine uh, starts to give uh, the optimal parameters for each production and this is the machine learning okay we are analyzing constantly all the parameters used during the the, the production and then we mm, offer the, the these parameters the, the optimal parameters to the to the operator to choose the the correct ones for for each production yeah, what i see what you really do is like to say okay i have a person who's running the extrusion press a lot of years and he can uh, make interpretation of all these data and of the furnaces and of the pressures and then he chooses the right parameters but you have an algorithm that can do the same you know though you will not substitute the production I manager think. but but you have an algorithm to make the optimization of this very complex data and then to optimize automatically you know, let's say for example, sometimes uh, night shift uh, have produced this uh, lower uh, production, no, and, and, and day shift uh, better. And, and with this, we can make a standard. 
uh, values for, for, for everybody. Exactly, I exactly understand because it is very complex data that where where the the function of 10 machines decide of the production so it is not just very easy for for one person to decide where is the problem but but the intelligence of the uh, IT system is able to to analyze and to optimize in this case no exactly okay thank you very much that was uh, very clear yeah Jaume, okay i i saw now it's clear with this type of system you have you have a lot of uh, visibility of the process, you have more productivity. On the other hand, what about uh, safety of the machines? What about health of the people that are working with the equipment? Today it's a very important issue. The important is when we are taking information about all the, the sensors eh, and we can predict the situations, then we, re we reduce the, the stops that are not uh, predicted. And then when we reduce these stops, we increase the safety. Because when we predict a possible stop, we will make plan for action in the future. And then all is, is, is in safe. Yeah, if you think about, for example, a complex safety system for a for a chemical plant, for example, if you can predict a problem, then you can mm, avoid uh, an accident, no? let's say. That would be the exactly. idea. No? Yeah. And what are the other sectors that you work with this type of technologies? We are uh, using, uh, for example, in uh, automatic storage systems and also renewable energies. Yeah, the yeah. green energy so, sector, yeah. Hmm. Yes, uh, with uh, car charging uh, systems. Thank you very much. It is clear now how you apply this because it's a, it's a theoretical thing. There are many people working on this, but in this case, we saw an example of a of a real company that is doing real projects in the industry with Internet of Things and uh, Industry 4.0. So thank you very much, uh, Jaume. No? And I hope that maybe in some months' time we can update again on the same issue. It has been a pleasure to be with you and talk about uh, Industry 4.0. Yeah, thank you again to uh, Mr. Jaume Amuros for the video. It was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. I will have in some months time another time a look at, at uh, what uh, Jaume is doing. Maybe he, we can update the information. I hope that we will see you next time with my next video. Bye bye.